Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x minus y is equal to 1 and x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 35. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. From this equation, this uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed can be factorized as uh, x plus uh, y times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared minus x y is equal to 35. Next, x plus uh, y times uh, this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared can be written as uh, x minus y whole squared plus uh, 2xy minus this xy is equal to 35. Now in this equation we replace this uh, x minus y with this value 1. So this will become x plus uh, y times 1 squared 2xy minus xy will become plus uh, xy is equal to 35. Next, x plus uh, y times uh, 1 plus uh, xy is equal to 35. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we use this uh, algebraic identity x plus uh, y whole squared minus x minus y whole squared is equal to 4xy. In this equation we replace this uh, x minus y with this value of x minus y 1. So this will become x plus uh, y whole squared minus 1 squared is equal to 4xy. If we divide both sides by 4 then this implies that uh, xy is equal to x plus y whole squared minus this 1 squared is same as 1 divided by 4. Let's call this equation equation number 4. Now in this uh, equation number 3 we replace this xy with this value of xy x plus y whole squared minus 1 over 4 then this equation number 3 will become x plus uh, y times 1 plus uh, in place of this xy, we write this value x plus y whole squared minus 1 divided by 4 is equal to 35. Now we can write the denominator of this one 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and 4. LCM is 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4, 4 times this one, 4, plus 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times this expression will remain same, x plus y whole squared minus 1, times this x plus y is equal to 35. Next, x plus uh, y times uh, this uh, 4 minus 1 will become 3 plus uh, x plus y whole squared divided by 4 is equal to 35. Now we multiply both sides by 4. So this 4 will be cancelled with this 4. Uh, this equation will become x plus uh, y 
times 3 plus x plus y whole squared is equal to 35 times 4 will become 140. Now, we suppose that x plus y is equal to t. Let x plus y is equal to t. So, this equation will become t times 3 plus t squared is equal to 140. Now, we distribute this t, t times 3 will become 3t and t times t squared will become t cubed is equal to 140. Move this 140 to the left hand side and rearrange these terms, this will become t cubed plus 3 times t minus 140 is equal to 0. Now, in this uh, cubic equation, if we check uh, t is equal to 5, then this will become 5 cubed 125 plus uh, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 140 is equal to 0. 125 plus 15 is 140, 140 times 140 is uh, 0. It means that uh, t is equal to 5 is a uh, solution of this cubic equation and t minus 5 is a factor of this equation. So, we can rewrite this equation as t cubed we subtract 5 t squared and we add 5 t squared. We write this uh, 3 times t as uh, negative 25 times t plus uh, 28 times t minus 140 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, t squared in bracket left uh, t minus 5. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, plus uh, 5 times t in bracket left t minus 5. From these two terms we can factor out plus 28 in bracket left t minus 5 is equal to 0. This t minus 5 is a common factor so we factor out this t minus 5 and in bracket left t squared plus 5 times t plus 28 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression t minus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 5 times t plus 28 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 5 and from this quadratic equation t is equal to negative 5 plus minus the square root of in place of b squared we write 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 28 divided by 2 times a is 1 and t is equal to negative 5 plus minus the square root of this 5 squared will become 25 minus 4 times 1 times 28 will become 112 divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2 and t is equal to negative 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 112 will become negative 87 divided by 2. Next t is equal to negative 5 plus minus this root negative 87 can be written as root negative 1 times root 87 divided by 2 and this will become t is equal to negative 5 plus minus uh, root negative 1 will become 
i times root 87 divided by 2 and first we found this value of t5 t is equal to 5 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus y is equal to t we have supposed that x plus y is equal to t it means that x plus y is equal to 5 and a negative 5 plus i times root 87 over 2 and negative 5 minus i times root 87 over 2 so we have three solutions for x plus y